Yeah. So, the E90. Big question. Um, I get asked all the time, what mods, what mods are on the car, what I've done, how long have I had it, um, what are the failures that I've had with the car, what are the issues that I've had, what issues will I have, um, things of that nature. Um, so, I guess it's a small like, review of that. So, I purchased the car in February of 2017 or 18, I believe 2018. So we're going on, I guess you could say, uh, two years with the car at this point. Um, I feel like it's been longer than that, maybe because I've had so many at this point. Uh, it's like my fourth year 90. Uh, but purchased this car out of Maryland, had 72,000 miles on it uh, when I picked it up. Had uh, some AST 5300s on it uh, from the previous owner. Had a lovely IND carbon fiber roof, which if you know, the E90s never came with, they were never optioned with it. The best thing that we got was the slip top. Um, however, IND made a mold for around five cars uh, to install these on. And so uh, actually removed the actual roof skin to put carbon fiber roof. Pretty dope, small little rear mod. Um, when I got the vehicle, I switched over to clay, some KW Club Sports, uh, which did come with camber plates already installed on them. Uh, for two reasons. One, I didn't really plan on overly aggressively tracking the car and I didn't feel really a need to have external reservoirs. Um, and so I think the simplified kit of having the KW Club Sports sufficed for what I was doing. It got the car low enough to what I was looking to go after. Um, and the one or two times that I got to use the car on this particular car on the track, um, it handled extremely well. Didn't have any issues with wheel hop. Um, it took a lot of the elevation changes or even tapping of the uh, rumble strips on the track pretty well. Um, so shout out to KW for making an amazing coilover system for the E90. Outside of that, we're currently running uh, for my daily, I guess you daily slash race setup, um, some four star F14 super deep concave, 19 by 10 in the front, 19 by 11 in the rear, um, with the rear being wrapped in some 29530 19 R RRs. Uh, a lot of controversy regarding that tire um, with the rain. I particularly dailyed on them for around two years um, on this vehicle. Um, my Z currently has them as well, and I've had them all on all my previous M3s, including my F80. Uh, driving them in the rain has been no issue. Now, I say that with the note of if you drive ball tires in the rain, you're gonna have issues. If you drive with common sense and the car has plenty, the tires have plenty of thread then you're not gonna have any issues doing 60 miles an hour in the rain if that's the actual speed limit on the road. Um, now granted, use a little bit of caution when you're doing anything in the rain, driving, whether it be normal driving, aggressive driving, or anything, um, due to just the oils coming out of the ground in any rare situation that can happen. But in my personal experience, and the number of vehicles that I've had them on, I've never had an issue with triple eights in the rain. Um, and so I highly recommend the tire. Um, I'm not particular on trying to go fast on regular tires, uh, only because you burn through them faster. And spinning isn't winning as a short scenario or phrase that's said among, I guess, racers, if you could say. Outside of that, uh, we have the ESS 625 uh, kit supercharger. This is a VT2 kit, so it is intercooled. Um, the minor differences between my kit and other kits that you may see on the forums are people running are sold is uh, we're currently running full E85 on the car. Um, now we're not using a flex fuel uh, system, we're not using a, uh, a box that's tricking the computer, we're running an actual flash to run full E85 on the car. Um, the injectors that we switched over to were a set of ID 1050cc injectors which I'll speak about in another video um, with like some of the fitment issues or nuances when it comes to installing those. As well as I'm running a fuel it uh, stage two pump. It's a secondary add-on pump that uh, I have triggered to come on. I'm particularly using my meth controller to do so. Others receive a four PSI hop switch. Um, shout out to RK Tunes for uh, even his support and his help with getting some of the issues figured out with the car when we switched over. Um, he's currently the tuner that I have for the car having a 93 tune for the larger injectors and E85 tune, which has been running flawless um, after doing the revisions that we did and going through the logs. Um, so again, shout out to Jordan for hooking it up with the, uh, the time spent towards getting the issues figured out with the car. Um, having had a chance to dine with, 
Um, the last time this car was on the dyno was when I had uh, a BPM tune, 93 octane on uh, some Bosch 123 injectors. Car made around 565 wheel on a 3.6 uh, inch pulley, so that would be roughly around 7.5 to 8 psi boost uh, at the elevation that I was sitting at, at the time frame. And again, no issues. Um, I actually got a chance to set uh, apparently a micro record uh, with that setup. Uh, we went the quickest for a E90 sedan with the factory motor, um, running a 10.9 at 128, 127 uh, on full 93 octane tune. Uh, still chasing after that record. Saddle, look out, because I am coming for you on that uh, stock motor record, uh, that race to see who can get down to the nines the fastest. Obviously, we got a we got a lot that we got to do to uh, to knock a, knock the 60 foot down in this car. Uh, the local track is not as great about when it comes to prep and having to drive around a water box. So we're gonna take a trip to Ennis or maybe even San Antonio to try to see if we can uh, knock down the time there. Uh, with us currently being at 85 um, and running more boost now, uh, we're assuming based upon the numbers and the timing targets that the car is hitting now that it's roughly around 660, 670 wheel, um, just based upon some other vehicles that we've had uh, to compare that to. So we'll see what we get. Um, probably do more, maybe a walk around when it's sunny or outside. I'm a little sick right now, uh, hence the voice being a little hoarse, so I'm not going to open the garage uh, with it being colder out here in Texas right now. Um, we'll do that another time.